Hello friends, Creative Inus here and today we will learn this beautiful illustration a drone and it is flying so we will learn how to create this in PowerPoint I hope you will like it so please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit like share and let's aim for 200,000 subscribers in today's video we will learn how to design this beautiful drone that we have you know created in this PowerPoint and yes it's possible to design it in PowerPoint so before starting the tutorial let's take a look at the different layers on this slide that we have created so like this is one of the layer this is just a reflection layer and it makes the slide look more beautiful so if you go to the selection pane here and if you click on this I button or I icon here it will make it disappear or hide it now we have this drone here and in the background you can see some gradient you know uh, color flowing in random direction and here you can see some highlights some dark area here some blue and purple color here so how is that possible so in order to do that you have to add some overlays in the background So this is that overlay if you can see here this is a shape that I have created and if you go to the properties of this shape here is the gradient that we have filled we have used three gradient stops and the third one is at 47 percent and the color is dark blue and the first and second gradient stop uh, are at 2% and 4% with blue color so if you do that and if you select the type as radial then you will get a gradient like this right and make sure the direction is this one from center now let's talk about the transparency levels if you select this one transparency is at 100% now if you make it 0% this is actually the real overlay on the background so if you make it like 100% then you will get a glow like this and you can add it in the background similarly this is the second layer we have created and this one is also like the first and uh, but here we have used the dark purple color at 18 percent and at the second gradient stop we have used the dark blue color with 100 percent transparency if you make it like zero you can see the actual shape here so this is how it works and you can place it in the background to create beautiful effects so these are different layers and again you can hide these from the background and now you've got this background gradient so I'm telling you all this before starting the tutorial so that you have some idea like how to design this illustration in the background we have used four gradient stops dark to you know light blue color and transparency is zero on all these gradient stops and the gradient type is linear and the direction you can use you can use any of the direction but we have used this one you can also use this one as well so 
now we have covered the background now let's talk about this drone if i just ungroup it so it has got so many layers first comes the background so this is the shadow and the shadow is actually this shape so i have duplicated this shape here and removed all its effects the depth the color and filled white uh, black color and increased the transparency so this is the you know base of the drone now if we talk about these rotors it has many layers in it if I ungroup it so now let's and you can see here these are four circles and in the fourth circle this one we have few more layers and again if I just ungroup it you can see it has more layers so that's how it works you have to create small components and then group them together to create a shape in this circle we have used this gradient finish in this one we have used depth effect if I go to 3d format you can see the depth here 10 point let's make it 100 point so this will look like some hollow pipe and these are flat circles this one you can modify like this this is a pie chart circle and this is the duplicated circle and if I group all these together it, uh, it will end up like this and this is the text layer this is the rounded rectangle in the isometric form this one as well and these are the three transparent layers and this one is our logo with shadow effect if you can see here it has got this beautiful shadow so this is a shadow effect we have applied here from here you can change the shadow and styles and move these uh, sliders so here are the settings you can copy the settings so here you can see we have dissected this whole drone and this is the top layer for this to add a reflection effect the the reflection of the light and this is how it, it is placed so I hope this will make you you know this will help you understand it in a better way how we can how we can create this illustration and how many layers are involved so uh, if, if we talk about these four layers so here we have reused this rounded rectangle to create these three layers so this saves a lot of our time similarly we have to create only one rotor blade and we just have to duplicate it three times so this will also save our time once we have created this this will be the duplicated shape of this shape then this is our logo and this one is also a duplicated form of this big rounded rectangle so this is pretty easy to design all you just need a vision to create such kind of illustration so now let's learn how to create it from start to end let's start with the blank canvas here and create four copies of a circle make sure the third copy is small in size and then 
create one more copy and make it even more smaller and go to insert and insert this shape and now select the first remove its fill and fill gradient line we only need two gradient stops here let's first try with four as we have filled white color so that's why it's not visible on a white background so we have to first design the background and let's fill a beautiful gradient finish in the background so we have placed a color palette at the top and pick the colors from this color palette and use format painter make the gradient type radial and on the first circle increase the width of the line and on the third circle fill gradient line and pick the colors from the color palette at the top and use yellow color and remove its fill as well now comes the fourth circle and we will fill a white radial gradient and the radial should be radial should start from the center i mean the direction and in the first gradient stop increase the transparency to 75 percent and now comes this last shape and make it like a small pie and duplicate and place it opposite to it like this so what we are creating here is the rotor blades for our drone if you know what I mean the rotor blades and we need four of these so we just we will just create one and then we will duplicate it three more times now we have filled white color on these blades now we have to you know group all these together but before that we have to change their orientation like this and this is called isometric orientation now in this third circle increase the depth and place the blades inside this circle now select both these and place inside this uh, yellow ring that we have created now select all these three and place them inside this circle and place the first one at the bottom slightly increase its width and this is how it will look And for the last circle just increase the transparency on a couple of gradient stops like on the first and the third increase the size of the rotor blades like this by holding shift and dragging from the corner group all these together and your rotor blades are here just duplicate these you can use Control c Control v to duplicate now we have to create the main body of the drone for that you have to insert this rounded rectangle it is very easy and go to insert draw this circle like this and place it at the top and similarly place one at the bottom align center group them together and align with the rounded rectangle similarly increase the uh, duplicate the circle and increase its height and place it on the left and right of this 
rounded rectangle group them together align center now group all these and align with the rounded rectangle in the background now once everything is aligned group ungroup all these then subtract one by one from the rounded rectangle and you will get this cool shape and this is the frame of our drone now change its orientation like this now we just have to do few things here first is to increase its depth to give it a 3d look so you can see here it's very easy if you see the illustration you will you will say like it's very difficult and uh, it will take some time to create such illustration but here you can see it's very easy so we have filled white color on the body of the drone now let's place these rotor blades here bring them to front and now we have placed all these four rotor blades here now go to shape and insert this rounded rectangle remove its outline and let's fill a gradient line here and we will use a white gradient white and gray uh, gradient finish and in the fill as well we will use our theme color yellow and uh, we will use a gradient for yellow color and you can see here uh, we have used three gradient stops but it's up to you if you want to use four or two totally your choice I want to make it a little bright so that's why I'm using different shades of yellow and you can move the gradient slider left or right to to create a beautiful gradient and change its orientation increase its depth and place it at the center like this fill shadow and change the shadow color to yellow as well increase the blurness and transparency and we have kept one copy of this rounded rectangle here and we will subtract it with this triangle and the reason for the subtraction is to create this layer which is a reflection layer the light reflection layer and it creates a beautiful effect and we have used it in our lots of videos to fill white color and make sure it is aligned and increase the transparency and make the first gradient stop on the rounded rectangle a bit darker and change the direction towards the top now the darker side is towards the top now duplicate this rounded rectangle and send it to back and apply shadow further increase its depth this is the base of the drone and change the lighting and material as per your choice make sure the material is metallic metallic material looks much better now once again duplicate this base and remove its depth and also remove its outline we just need a plain 
rounded rectangle and increase its transparency and send to back and place it like this now duplicate it one more time once it is placed send to back further increase its transparency and now duplicate it one more time and place it at the bottom send to back and increase its transparency now our drone is ready we just have to add some text our logo and some final touch-ups that we have to do dark color is also looking nice here but we will go with the white gradient here and for the border let's create a golden border here because the overall theme of our drone is white and golden so for the outline we have used yellow gradient fill and keep it linear and use this direction and let's insert our logo here and you can add your own logo change its orientation place it at the top at the center and apply shadow effect remove its reflection now we have to change the bevel option here on the top bevel select this one and just play with the width and the height here so this is looking fine like 13 and 3 and now just select the rotor blades here and press shift and drag it from the corner to further increase the height and width and now we just we just need to add text and labeling so we have added creative winners uppercase change the font style change the color to black center aligned text option change the 3d rotation and place it here reduce the font size increase character spacing change the color to dark blue and in the text options slightly increase the transparency so that it blends well with the background so you can see here the drone illustration is complete and I hope you will like it so similarly you can create any illustration you want in PowerPoint all you need is just a thought in your mind like what you need to create and how will how you're going to manage the shapes so that's all you need and let's take a look at the final output and I have created a beautiful background and one last thing we have to add the shadow effect for this drone and for that you have to copy this shape duplicate it and remove all its effects like colors and send it to back and remove its depth as well remove any outline we just need a solid fill black fill and remove outline increase the transparency but before that you have to remove its depth and now increase the transparency and this is how you can add the shadow and now you can group all these items by pressing ctrl plus g so here is the final output and you can see this beautiful drone and you can also create this one by watching this video till the end i hope you will like it please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit like share this video with your friends colleagues and everyone around you within your network and keep supporting us and do not forget to download this template from the g drive link provided in the video description